All right, this is a quick demonstration. XP 1200EH Beast Hybrid. This is running on gasoline. Now I'm about to hook it up to this general link. This meter right here. I, I don't have the traditional transfer switch. Um, instead, I opted for this. I'm gonna attempt to run the whole house. Here I have a train, uh, three ton. Uh, I believe it's a XR17. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to run this uh, plus pretty much the whole entire house. See how it goes. So I'm gonna do this one step at a time. At this time, the entire power is out at the panel. Uh, this is just a test uh, to see how this goes. So I have to make sure that this little notch is facing outward. So let's try this. All right, it's not coming out. Let's go ahead and turn this on. <laughs> panel turn the main on I'm not sure if you can hear the generators be out there main on see so this is actually currently connected to the um, currently on right now so is my fridge my fridge is currently on mini fridge is currently on the humidifier is currently on. These are freezer chests, I'm sorry. Uh, this is currently on as well too. All the lights in my house are currently working as well too. All right, waiting for this to turn on. Should kick on in a bit. You heard it? AC's on. This is a beast. Um, so I had just turned it off, and immediately after I turned it off, without maybe like a, a second delay. I hear a little click. Um, every single time an appliance turn off and on in a house, you can hear the generator, um, you know, rev up and down, up and down. Uh, so I know it was a generator, not the actual grid that was running my entire house. Um, the AC turned off um, automatically and then just kind of powered down a little bit um, and just idled off. Um, so I know for sure uh, the generator was actually powering the entire house. Um, I left pretty much almost every single appliance on. Um, I had several fans in uh, the bedroom that was running. Uh, I have a, an, an attic fan as well too that I use um, when it gets pretty warm. That, that was also on. Several bathrooms fans were also left on. Um, so it pretty much ran the entire house. My panel is pretty old. This house was built in 1970 so it's a split a bus panel. Uh, I'm not an electrician, but what I'm told by an electrician is that the fact that if I want to get a transfer switch installed properly, I need to upgrade the entire panel uh, to a modern day 200 uh, main breaker panel. Um, the way my panel is, is even if I turn the main switch on, there's several other circuits that still stay on, so it's not a good candidate uh, for a traditional uh, transfer switch. So this tends to work because it comes directly from the meter. This really is a beast. I definitely go for it if it's something within your budget. I got this after Hurricane Maria. Um, my mother lives in Puerto Rico uh, and they lived off a, a generator for many months. And so um, I have a, a, a house full of kids here in the DC metro area. Um, it's not that we lose power that often, but from time to time we've had a couple storms where we would lose power uh, about maybe a couple days if not the most. I, I went without power as a week. So it's my little tutorial. 
Uh, hopefully it was helpful for the folks who are interested in this product um, and it generally.